I'll let you take a look at a 70s classic now. This is a Morley Fuzz Wah, which is a wah wah pedal that uses a, a light bulb powered source of resistance to get the wah effect as, a, as opposed to the standard pot with the ratchet uh, setup that you find in, say, a crybaby pedal or a Vox wah wah. It also includes a fuzz effect, which is separately switchable, and it's uh, one of the most intense fuzzes I've ever heard. Actually, it, it sustains even more than a big muff, so it must be worthy of a bit of investigation. This is definitely one of the biggest and heaviest pedals that uh, you may come across. There's an on-off switch across the front there. There's the wah-wah mechanism which we'll take a look inside in a minute and see how that sort of works. Across the side is um, the fuzz section. You've got the intensity and the tone control. Along the back is the two foot switches there. That's the fuzz one and that's for the, the power wah. There's a little indicator there so you can see if it's powered up. And inside there is the filament bulb that actually drives the, the way the wah wah operates. Across that side is the instrument and amplifier sockets here, input and output. So let's try and have a look inside because that's where the important bit is. This here is um, what's quite unique about um, Morley pedals. Down there, if you can see is an LDR which is a light dependent resistor and there's this sort of cardboard arrangement here that's moved with the foot treadle or foot pedal whatever you call it you see that there that's called a falling curtain and that blocks out the light source which comes from the filament bulb down here I hope you can see all this is a little filament bulb when that's illuminated it shines light onto the resistor the light sensitive resistor and you change the resistance by blocking the light off like that and that gives it the resistance change which powers the wah circuit which in turn gives you the wah effect as you can see up there this is a mains powered pedal I think this may have been changed from United States mains to UK because it looks like there's been a bit of work done down there but um, all in all quite a 70s style construction there on the PCB <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.